Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're attempting to run a system restore on your Windows 11 computer where the system restore is disabled on your system and the option is grayed out to actually perform a system restore. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process guys and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the magnifying glass to search icon. So go ahead and left click on that. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, Schokenbecker Registry Editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range, keep that at all, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select File and then Import and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward process. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the Software folder. Same thing for Policies, double click on that should be a Microsoft folder under here. Double click on that one as well. Windows NT, you know the drill, same thing. And then finally, there should be a System Restore folder. You can delete this folder itself, or you could just delete the Disable Config and Disable SRD word values, whichever you prefer. We're gonna have a more conservative approach here. We're just gonna delete these two D word values. So you could just highlight over them or right click on both of them one at a time and select Delete. You could click the Delete key on your keyboard too and select yes, make sure they're both deleted, and then you can close out of the registry editor, restart your computer, and then when you attempt to launch System Restore, the issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.